Today, we're gonna get dangerous. I didn't realize my blade was broken. I bought a brand new guitar on Black Friday from a company that I've wanted to check out for a long time, and we're gonna unbox it together. Let's do it! All right guys, hope you're doing great out there today. If this is your first time here at my channel, my name is Kyle and what I do is I take all sorts of awesome high gain related guitar gear, record it with a simple setup and I give you the unbarbed. Good thing it's closed. I give you the unprocessed audio on your end. So if you're into E standard thrash riffs, drop C hardcore riffs and dudes that uh, have definitely impaled themselves with knives before, you're in the right place. Consider hitting the like button and subscribing on your way out, helping me get to 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I'll really appreciate it. Thanks. All right, guys, so today we have a brand on the channel that technically I've had on here before. I've never featured them before. I've owned a couple of their guitars just kind of in passing. I owned a couple used models that I honestly wasn't all that interested in for myself. I just bought them because they were a great deal and then moved them along for something else. So. When I saw that this company was having a crazy Black Friday sale, I knew that I had to jump on it because uh, there is a particular model that they have had on their website for quite some time that really appealed to me, but I just never pulled the trigger until now. So this guitar was discounted by about $200. And on the website, on the day that I bought, there was an ad that said, every guitar that you buy today only will come with a case. On the bottom though, there was a disclaimer that said, this does not combine with any other offers. I'm thinking that that meant because the guitar is on sale, I didn't get the case with it, unfortunately, which is kind of one of the main reasons that I wanted to buy it, but kind of figured that that would happen. That's no fault of the companies and I read the fine print, so I kind of, kind of expected that, but I was hoping. So anyways, we are gonna unbox that guitar today and we're gonna play a couple riffs through it. I was in the middle of filming a video when UPS dropped it off and I was super excited and just stopped what I was doing and ran upstairs to grab it. So I have finished that video and now we're doing this video. Honestly, you guys seem to be enjoying these unboxing videos. So I'm gonna keep doing them and sharing these experiences with you as long as you guys keep watching them and leaving fun comments. So with that being said, I'm gonna shut up and we're gonna figure out what guitar that I bought. You can already tell it's a pointy one. This is a company that has kind of really uh, just expanded like crazy over the last few years in the guitar community, especially in the metal guitar community. And they have had, sorry, I'm trying to keep, uh, like you guys really wanna see my face. They have uh, just been releasing new models nonstop and some of them, do not appeal to me whatsoever. And then some of them I see them and I'm like, dude, I wanna try that so bad. And this is one that I honestly don't even think that I've seen in any of the Facebook groups or seen in the wild or anything. So I'm really, really curious um, why? Because I think it's a really cool model and it's one of their more cost-effective models. And it, you guys know that uh, I'm cheap. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna lay this down. I'm gonna give you guys a second to guess what guitar it is or at least what brand and uh, leave that down in the comments because we've been having fun with that as well. Go ahead and do that now. It's hard to keep that logo out of <laughs> the camera view. Oh, it's another box. Well, I lost the light, that's okay. You still have time to guess. Still have time, you don't know what it is yet. Of course, the zipper's all the way on the bottom opposite corner. Get out of here, you stupid handle. All right, moment of truth, guys. <gasps> it's a foam guitar. Let's get this thing out of the bag. It's pointy, it's really light. It's super, super light. Uh, wow, okay. Hopefully it doesn't have neck dive with how light it is, but uh, have you guys guessed yet? Did you leave your guesses in the comments? We're getting real close here. Really, really close. I'm getting excited. Time for a reveal. Let's go ahead, let's reveal it. Did you guess correctly? Be honest, be honest with me if you guess correctly. Very, very curious, but yeah. Been wanting to try a Solar guitar for a long time and uh, there she is. 
a single pickup V um, in an olive drab green type finish. Uh, this thing looks awesome. This thing really looks awesome. We got to check for the dreaded solar fretboard crack that the internet was losing their mind over. Uh, yeah, dude, um, this guitar looks incredible. I am not seeing any issues as far as fit and finish. Made in Indonesia, this is the Solar V2.6 AG. But uh, yeah, man, take a look at that. That is a beautiful, beautiful flying V guitar. Okay, they slacken the strings, which is a good thing before shipping. Okay, that's a little better. I had to change my lens real quick. But yeah, um, it does have neck dive, but with this strap, I have the mono strap on that has a little <laughs> strap on uh, that has a little bit of a grip to it. And honestly, like the way that you have to hold the guitar anyways, it's not as bad. And the grippy strap, the wider strap uh, seems to be hanging on okay. Like if I just stand here. Yeah. That'll work. Super comfortable to play standing up with this beveled top edge. The action right out of the box, honestly, seems really, really good too. So awesome. All right. Uh, none of this matters if the guitar doesn't sound good. And luckily I have my 5150 set up. So let's go ahead and plug into the 5150 and uh, let's see how this baby sounds. I'm happy so far though. All right, guys, so I am hooked into my PV5150 Mesa 412 traditional cab, 1999 vintage 30s, still the stock speakers in this thing. We have an electric eye mud killer dialed in. I got this thing tuned up, got the string stretched out, dialed in a tone. Let's hear how it sounds. <laughs> This thing sounds and plays awesome right off the bat. Uh, yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> I am getting a little bit of that like warbliness where I'm hitting the strings and they're going out of tune because I normally play hard and I normally play with 11 to 50. So this thing has, it feels like much thinner strings on it, probably 10 to 46. So once I get this thing set up with my strings on it, that'll go away. But otherwise the guitar feels great. It's set up nice out of the box. It's intonated correctly. <laughs> Oh yeah, this thing sounds awesome. I'm not used to playing like this, but even so, it, it feels comfortable, surprisingly, with how far away the guitar is sitting. Um, dude, <laughs> yeah, I like it. Let's try something uh, tuned a little bit lower, a little more evil. Not an A chord. guys uh overall big big fan of the guitar it's so light dude it's so light it's incredibly light 
that neck dive. Hopefully that doesn't become an issue. I'm gonna use this at uh, practice here in the near future because I am gonna wanna test it out because if it neck dives uh, a lot while I'm playing and I play standing up a lot, then it's a no-go. But otherwise, really, really digging it. The, the action is great out of the box. Can't wait to get some of my personal strings on here and get it set up the way that I like it. The pickups are, I like the voicing a lot. They seem like they lack a little bit of detail and a little bit of clarity. So I'm gonna compare them to some other stuff, some of my other guitars, and see if I still feel that way after playing it against some other stuff. And if I do, I'll change that pickup out for something else. But as of right now, I like the voicing. Plays well, seems to be staying in tune just fine. Yeah, man, happy with this purchase. Uh, and this was a purchase. Solar did not send this guitar to me. They did not give me a discount. I never even reached out to them to purchase this thing. I just bought it because I wanted to try it. So with that being said, what do you guys think about my new guitar? And if you have any interactions with Solar, if you own any Solar guitars, what have your experiences been? Let me know down in the comments and I'll meet you guys down there to chat about it. Thanks so much for watching this video. These unboxings have become one of my favorite things to film because they're easy and they're fun and I enjoy sharing experiences with you. So let me know if you wanna keep seeing these. And if you like the video, hit the like button on the way out. It makes a big difference. Subscribe if you're not already. And again, I would really love to try to get to that 20,000 mark by the end of the year cutting it a little close, but we're gonna still keep pushing. And if you wanna support my channel down in the description of this video are my affiliate links from both Sweetwater and Zounds. And if you shop with them, clicking those links makes a big difference for me. It really helps the channel out and I really appreciate it. That's all I got. Thanks guys, bye. You know what this wall is missing? Another ant. There we go.